Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The day has arrived. It is travel day. We are leaving our home here in Tampa, and we are making the trek up north to Vancouver, Canada for the start of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation. If you guys are new around here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Adrian. My girlfriend is Coda. She is off doing her own thing right now. She's getting ready to go to the airport. We're taking care of my parents' dogs right now. Speaking of, there's one of them. <laughs> And welcome to Theme Park Express. If you guys are new around here and you enjoy cruising as much as I do, please make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you guys are excited for this new Alaska vlog series, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It is absolutely free to do and you can always unsubscribe when the series is done. Let's not waste any time, guys. Let's go ahead and get our stuff inside the car and head on over to the airport. And welcome ladies and gentlemen to San Francisco. So my flight to Vancouver isn't for another couple of hours, but I do know that we need to change terminals because we landed in D, but I need to go to F. So let's go ahead and see if we can get to our gate nice and early and we can just hang out. This is very interesting. Are these like fishnets? They look like fishnets to me. Ooh, an Alaska lounge. I'm not welcome in there, but it's really cool that they have one. It's all right, no need to welcome me. I'm only here for a few hours. All right, I was sorely mistaken. My flight wasn't for a couple of hours. I misread the time. It was actually for like one hour. So they're actually getting ready to board now. So thank God we didn't get delayed or anything. <laughs> We're heading on over to gate F19 now. Honestly, it's a great thing I didn't lollygag at the airport and I double checked myself because that would have been really bad.
Oh yeah, we are back in Canada. Oh my gosh. Look at this little like diorama type thing that you get to walk through. They got canoes, they have a bird's nest over here. You can hear the bald eagles. And then they got this thing. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what the heck you call this. I'm just happy that we made it. We can de-stress a little bit. Me and my mom were saying, this is such a different arrival experience from the last time we were here. We came here at like midnight, everything was dark. But gosh, this is so beautiful. Holy cow. I'm so happy to be back. Okay, so the last time we came to Canada, we had an issue where we thought that our bags actually got left behind. We didn't make that mistake this time. We put air tags in our bags for this trip. So we know that they are here and that they followed us on the plane, which is really good. So now hopefully they don't take forever and a day to come out. <laughs> it's honestly a night and day difference how less chaotic this airport is this time around compared to when we were here last year, right around the same time too. It's crazy. There were bags everywhere. People were lined up around the corner for things it was wild and now it's just look at that empty calm i love it all right so here's the situation right now we finally made it outside of the airport we have all of our bags which is like six bags right here plus the backpack and thing so we got a lot of stuff we went ahead and booked a room for tonight at a holiday inn that's right across the street from a costco so we're gonna see if we can go check out a canadian costco we're very excited for that and then tomorrow morning is when we're actually going to be checking into the pan pacific hotel so this room is just something to get us comfortable for the night give us a place to sleep and then tomorrow is when the fun really begins but i'm just so happy that we got here stress-free we made it everything's fine we're cool it's gonna be a good trip. <laughs> and now we're just waiting on our courtesy shuttle from the Holiday Inn to uh, take us to the hotel. We were downstairs waiting for almost 45 minutes and the time came and went that a shuttle was supposed to be there. And so we finally asked somebody, we're like, hey, is this where we're supposed to be catching the hotel shuttles? And they're like, no, that's upstairs. So we were there for 45 minutes <laughs> waiting for a shuttle that was never gonna come. So now we're upstairs, hopefully, we have another shuttle coming here in the next 15 minutes. Whew. After a couple of mistakes at the airport, we finally made it to the hotel. We checked in at the Holiday Inn Express over here in Richmond, I think it is. Bridgeport, I don't know. I'll put it down here to let you guys know where exactly we are. I'm not gonna do a proper room tour. Here's the bed. Here's a pullout couch. There's a table. There's a closet. There's a mini fridge over there and a bathroom. That's really about it. <laughs> We're just here for the night. We're gonna go over to Costco right now, which is literally right across the street. And I wanna show you guys what a Canadian Costco looks like because I'm super curious about what a Canadian Costco looks like. So let's go. Be aware though, if you are looking to stay at this hotel, we are right in the path of where the planes take off and land. So if that kind of noise bothers you, you might not wanna stay here. Not that we've heard anything in the room, but I'll let you guys know tonight. Yeah, when I said Costco was across the street, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> this is our hotel right here. And Costco's right here. Well, at first glance, everything looks kind of the same. It actually looks very similar to our Costco back at home. See, it's things like this that I was really wanting to see. Like, I know Costco's and whatever kind of brands that they have vary from state to state. But in Florida, for me, we don't have, you know, brands like this. This is particularly what I'm looking for. It's just different brands and different things. Like, take a look at this. They have Dorito bread. <laughs> they got Dorito bread over here. Ciabatta buns. They look really good. And this whole bakery section just smells, oh my God, amazing, by the way. Holy cow, it smells so good. Brioches, brioche buns. Oh my gosh, they look so fresh. Tell you what though, my Costco definitely doesn't sell oxtail. All the gallons of milk and stuff are different over here too in Canada. Another thing that's throwing me off is everything is in liters. <laughs> like clearly this is a gallon i know it's a gallon but like still it just throws me off this is just really interesting to me yeah this is definitely different i don't recall ever in my life seeing quail eggs for sale at least in florida so um this is definitely different i've never had quail egg before does it taste any different from a regular chicken egg let me know down below okay yeah i'm sold this is definitely something that we don't have at our Costco in Florida. I know we have them at Sam's Club, but our Costco in Florida doesn't have sushi. And they have a lot of sushi, oh my God. And um, also, we don't have that in Florida either. <laughs> oh no. All right, we are gonna go ahead and answer that question right now. They have quail eggs for sample. I'll try it. <laughs> Poor little guy. 
Mom, what is that? Dried sea cucumbers. <laughs> That's uh, definitely an acquired taste. Wow. But you know what? It's interesting to see this Costco geared more towards an Asian market as well. Because here in Vancouver, it's so diverse. Incredibly diverse. So they have to appeal to everybody. And I love that. Okay, so this is what I'm most excited for. Over here at the food court, they have the ice cream, they have chicken wings, pizza, the hot dog is still $1.50, which I love. And then we have chicken strips and fries and french fries with poutine or gravy. Heck yes, and they call it pop up here. Okay, so something important that's worth noting is that the Costco's here in Canada, they don't take Visa cards. I tried to pay for my stuff with a Visa card and they wouldn't take it, they take MasterCard. So thank God my mom had a MasterCard or else we would've been screwed, but it's good to know. All right, we made it back to the room from Costco. We have the Stanley Cup Finals on right now, it's on commercial, and we have our food. We got some chicken, some garlic chicken legs that they had over there in the deli department. We have some poutine. We got some hot dogs. That one's for Coda. We're sharing a pizza, and I got my hot dog over here as well. And then over there on the table, we have some baguettes. So the chicken legs are going to be eaten later, but this is just because we haven't eaten anything literally at all today. The next day. Oof. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day two over here in Vancouver. We slept so well last night. Oh, my God. So fun fact. Coda actually never flew in with us because she has a friend that works at JetBlue. She got her own tickets for free. So she flew separately from us the entire day. I didn't see Coda until late last night. She landed at about 9.45ish and she made it over here to the hotel uh, just before 11 o'clock just before 11 o'clock so overall not terrible but we got her some food over here as well we slept real well my mom slept in this bed coda is finally here say hi <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead on downstairs grab some breakfast and show you guys what's included over here at this uh, holiday inn all right let's see what we got Ooh, they got cinnamon rolls they have a pancake conveyor belt that's really cool they have touchless juice dispensers they have some bagels we got our silverware we got scrambled eggs we have bacon it's definitely not canadian bacon and we have turkey sausage. Okay, we have our breakfast. I have a cinnamon roll, some bacon, some turkey sausage, and some eggs. They are in the process of fixing the pancake machine right now, so they're adding more batter, so we'll get some pancakes later. Coda got some cereal. She has a bagel and some eggs, and my mom got some toast, eggs, and bacon. Okay, so it is sometime later. We are standing outside waiting for our Uber XL to take us on over to the Pan Pacific Hotel. Thank God we got a late checkout. It's just after 12 noon over here in Vancouver, Canada, and the weather outside is absolutely glorious. It's 64 degrees and breezy outside. It feels so good, oh my God. As someone who just came from the wretched heat and humidity of Florida, this is a very welcome change, and I hope that we have similar weather to this in Alaska because, oh my God, that would be amazing. And take a look at this as well, guys. What a difference in weather from the last time we were here. It was all cloudy, foggy, a little bit drizzly the last time we were here, and now look at that nice blue skies with barely any clouds. Right, we have made it the Pan Pacific Hotel. Let's see what this place is all about. So the lobby is actually up these escalators. This place is massive, holy cow. And it's a convention center. I never realized that the last time we were here. All right, Koda, what are your first impressions of the Pan Pacific? It's pretty. It's very nice, it is gorgeous in here. Definitely a lot more than what I was expecting. Like, 
last year we were here, we didn't even come inside. You know, we were in the convention center part where we checked in, I believe, but this is so much more than I was expecting. All right, guys, we have made it inside our room here at the Pan Pacific Hotel. And oh my gosh, guys, this room is absolutely incredible. We did get upgraded from our original room. We had a standard room with the Harbor View, but now we have a slightly bigger room. I can't remember what exactly it's called. There's so much room for activities in this room. And guys, right out these windows over here, we are gonna be able to watch the Disney Wonder pull in under the Lionsgate Bridge and dock right here in front of us. This is more than I could have ever asked for. This is honestly awesome. So far, I am extremely impressed. Babe, are you impressed? Yeah, it's really nice. Hopefully, it all works out so far. We're really enjoying this hotel. The view is absolutely incredible outside, so I cannot wait to show you guys what kind of view we get of the ship coming in tomorrow morning. I just want to point a couple things out here in the room. We have our two full-size beds. They're not queen beds. We have two bottles of water over here that are complimentary. We have a kettle over here. We also have a coffee maker. We have a little ice bucket right there as well. Again, plenty of floor space. We have a desk. We have a massive TV over here with plenty of drawer and dresser space. What is this? Oh, it's a little mini fridge type thing. It's not really a fridge. What in the world? Oh yeah, it is a fridge. Oh, look at that. You gotta turn the key though to open it. Nice comfortable desk over here. I could definitely edit a video tonight if I really wanted to, but I just wanted to point out this view. Oh my gosh. This view is absolutely incredible. And take a look at the pool over here as well. We have a hot tub right there. The pool is heated too, by the way. And take a look at that. We have Stanley Park over here. Just back there in the background, we have the Lionsgate Bridge. We have our views of all the seaplanes taking off and landing. And then this far window over here, we have a better view of Canada Place. And take a look at that. We have a Holland America ship right here. We have a Royal Caribbean cruise ship over there. And I don't know what ship that is right there. I think it may be Princess. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Something cool that we discovered over here in the closet is we have a couple of robes. These are really comfortable. They're obviously not for us to take and keep, but I see a lot of people in the pool area walking around with these robes on. So that's really cool. They have the Pan Pacific logo on them. We also have a safe up here as well. Looks like we have a luggage rack over here down on the floor. We have an iron and an ironing board over there in the corner, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. And it's a pretty big bathroom too. So take a look at that. Plenty of room for activities in here. We have a nice tub with a shower up here. And plenty of towels to use. We have our soap over there on the wall. And then opposite over here, we have a separate room with your toilet. And then up here on the shelf, we have little hand towels. We have some bars of soap and some of our other liquid products as well. So can somebody answer this question for me? What is it with the fancy hotels and the scales? You only see scales at some of the nicer high-end hotels. Why? People don't wanna know how much they weigh when they're on vacation, come on. All right, we got ourselves situated in the room. Now it's time to go downstairs and explore a little bit more of Vancouver. I think we're gonna head on over to Stanley Park. So over here is the Pan Pacific Hotel at Canada Place and right next door, we have the Holland America New Amsterdam ship. And take a look at that. They have We Heart Alaska on the front. Wow, guys, what a difference a year makes. One year ago, we were standing here and it was cloudy, rainy, gloomy outside. And now look, crystal clear skies, beautiful Vancouver city in the background. This is gorgeous. Holy cow, I cannot get over this. Check out these totem poles, guys. Holy cow. They're all so intricately made so much detail i think my favorite one is up over here it looks like an orca <laughs> but the eagle ones are my second favorite as well these are all just so cool it's so weird being back here at stanley park at the same gift shop that i was at last year where i bought coda souvenirs and now look at her she's back here herself buying souvenirs for her own family i love all the different totem pole designs of different animals they have some otters over here, some octopuses, some bears. They even have Bigfoot. Take a look at this, guys. You can even buy your maple syrup here, too. I didn't even realize that the last time I was here. I love this Vancouver souvenir book over here. They have the Disney Wonder, but I love how you can tell that they photoshopped the Mickey logo out. 
of the funnels. <laughs> Still really cool though. I really hope that we have the same weather tomorrow afternoon as we're sailing out of here. We're gonna sail this way and we're gonna head on under the Lionsgate Bridge. So Coda's deciding to follow everyone else that she's seeing as she's going down to the water line. <laughs> and believe me, she's not the only one. There's a bunch of people down that way that are down here on the water level. You can't argue with that logic, babe. <laughs> you did it. So Coda just spotted a seal. I can't zoom in any more on it. It's just a little tiny seal. He's poking his head out of the water. Finally made it on over to the lighthouse over here in Stanley Park. It's gorgeous. There's a walking path down here for pedestrians, even though every once in a while we get a couple bikers through here, but it's not bad at all. This place is honestly just so beautiful. It is a great place to come and walk around. Even with the cruddy weather that we had the last time, it was still really great to come out here and just kind of explore. But mom, what do you think of this park and the weather? Because you didn't get to come here last time. No, I didn't. It is beautiful. I, swear, I, swear. I would just stay here all day. Honestly, place. yeah. The park unfortunately does close at 5 though. Take a look at the seaplane. Ooh, take a look at that. The Holland America ship has backed away from Canada Place and it's on its way out. coming here to Stanley Park and you want a great Instagram spot right underneath the lighthouse over here you can get some great photos on these stairs when the lighting is just right you got the arches in the shot too we took a couple of really nice pictures here once again we have an absolutely phenomenal view of Vancouver City and I just want to point out that little Chevron gas station out on the water that's for our little boats and for the seaplanes and take a look at that guys Coda found another seal but he just put his head back in the water <laughs> It's so cute how they just barely poke their heads out to look around and then they go back in. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Celebrity Eclipse heading on out of here and setting sail for Alaska. So this is something I never saw the last time I was here, but they have like a cannon here and it says, look, this gun fires with a very loud report at 9 p.m. daily. What in the world? And there's a little sign here, too. Caution, flashing lights indicate gun is about to fire. Holy cow. And here's a little bit of a backstory behind the gun. Interesting. All right, babe, so what are your thoughts on Stanley Park? It's really pretty. It's big. Very big, very pretty. I'm in love with this place. It was so good the last time we were here, but it's even better now that the weather is absolutely perfect. It's breezy outside too. It's glorious, a phenomenal place to come and hang out, honestly. If you're coming on a cruise here, whether it be Disney or anyone else, definitely come here to stanley park it's definitely worth your time all right guys quick question is this a maple leaf or not because code and i were very confused because we see these leaves floating around all over the place but we don't know for sure so i guess what we're also asking is are these maple trees because these leaves all look like maple leaves we could be very wrong though okay so in case you guys are curious as to what we did here over here is canada place that's where we got our uber we drove all the way down over here, this is where we are in Stanley Park. You can see we're right here. This is where the totem poles were. We had the Uber drop us off here, and we basically walked all of this over here. That's what you saw. We didn't even touch the rest of this. However, I think with the Uber that we're about to pick up, we're gonna drive all the way around because the road in Stanley Park is one way. So we're gonna be picked up over here, and we're gonna have to go all the way the heck around just to get back out. So the Uber here from Pan Pacific was about $10. It's gonna be about double that, $20, just to get back because we have to go all the way around.
Okay, guys, this is absolutely crazy. We're not even on the ship yet. Tomorrow's embarkation day, and we've already been stopped by two groups of people. We just got stopped by a group in front of Canada Place, a huge family that recognized me, and they wanted to take pictures. That's, it blows my mind that you guys watch these videos, and so many of you have been reaching out to me on Facebook, Instagram, saying that you're going on Alaskan cruises because of my videos, and for real, guys, it really makes me happy, and it humbles me to, you know, be in this position to be able to make this kind of content to help you guys out so from the bottom of my heart thank you really it means a lot to me every time you guys come up and say hi it really puts a smile on my face and it makes my day we made it back from stanley park now we're just kind of walking around trying to find some place to eat we don't want to eat some place that we've been to before like no chain places that we would find in the states I mean, who knows? It all depends on these two, to be completely honest. I'm just kind of here for the ride. <laughs> so in our quest to find food, we ended up coming down here on the opposite side of Canada Place where uh, the giant teardrop is. <laughs> Holy moly. Have we decided where we're going to eat yet? My bad. Almost got ran over by a bike. Okay, so we were going to eat at Chop Steakhouse, but we figured tomorrow night we're going to be dining at Palo. So we're going to eat right next door at Quesada, burritos and tacos. This was more of a Coda's idea. <laughs> okay, so here's what I got. I got a burrito bowl with some pork, refried beans, some lettuce, tomatoes, uh, red onions, some cheese. And on the side, I have some mild salsa and some sour cream. And Coda got some nachos. All right, we finished up with Canadian Chipotle. It was actually pretty good. Now we're gonna come next door to Uno Gelato. I know the windows are kind of dirty, but one other positive thing about this room is the gorgeous sunsets. The sun is just about to set over the mountains over there in the background, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And the room is all lit up with the sunset. All right, by the way, guys, it just passed nine o'clock and that cannon over there in Stanley Park does in fact work and it does in fact fire. I saw the flash and I saw the smoke and a split second later, the sound wave hit the room and the glass in the room shook. I heard it and the glass shook. That was wild. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is going to do it for the travel day and the day in Vancouver portion of this Alaska cruise vlog series. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Tomorrow is the big day, embarkation day, where we board the Disney Wonder for our second ever Alaskan Disney cruise. It's going to be such a fun day, guys. Tomorrow is going to be a very long day because the ship is going to be pulling in right over here outside these windows at 530 in the morning. So we're going to be up bright and early to go ahead and film that. And then, of course, we have all the other awesome activities happening throughout the day. If you guys are excited for those videos and you want to see more like it in the future, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Also, if you guys are not yet subscribed to us on Patreon, go ahead and do that. Link down in the description below because all of our Patreon supporters are going to get early access to these cruise videos and they're going to get them completely ad free. So if you want to support the channel a little bit extra, link down in the description below to our Patreon. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.